So what I want to know is how I got here. I got to the planet Itcho by way of a tesseract. I landed on Uriel, then I went to Itchel, and I'm on my way to Kamazat. And how did that happen? And I'm just a guy from London, Ontario. And I went to a CBC assessment program, and they thought I should be a talk show host. And then I went to a, this diploma program at uh, Communication Arts at Loyola, and I sat down in front of a Jesuit priest, a young, tactfully-minded, you know, witty, debonair, and very uh, jovial, and with a great proclivity for the ironic sort of priest. And he said, are you taking all television courses? I said, yeah, all television courses. Are you not taking a film course? I said, no, I don't really care for film courses. And he said, why don't you take the Italians? I teach the Italians. Well, how does anyone teach the Italians? Yeah. I wanted okay, to know. Gonna, is gonna pop so I went to the first evening class, which was a double bill of Fellini films, mm -hmm. La Strada and E.D. Deloney. And that pretty much explains why I'm here right now, 30 years later. And uh, let me introduce you to a planet or two. Come on. Anyway, this, this is Uriel. This is where the witches land. And out there we see planets and sky, and we see Saturn, and we see all sorts of wild and beautiful planets. Mm -hmm. and and I know you think the flowers are real, but and you know the funny thing is that all that, that this Jesuit priest would say about cinema was he'd point open the frame and he would say, "Ah, that was his way." And the, ah, is this? Come. That's uh, one of the sets of a $21 million miniseries for Miramax and Disney called Wrinkle in Time. You're going to like this. We need to go much deeper. Boys fantasy. Anyway, this is about as far from being a talk show host as you could possibly find. Uh, directing a movie like this that's a boys fantasy and uh, in outer space and uh, fair amount of comedy. Mark, I'd like to say hello. I had a few classes with you Coming five years ago, and I had the opportunity of working with John, and, uh, and uh, thank you very much. I'd love to get this had a uh, great uh, experience at Concordia. Be there. Okay. Close that. Be there. We're inside. We're inside. She's standing in the side of the court. So we have three. We have three cameras playing here. Hey, Mark. I'd just like to say congratulations. When I think back to uh, the classes I took with you about five years ago, I just remember the magic of it. All of a sudden, opening up this whole arena of idea and visual expression and uh, the 
it really opened my mind. And now I have the chance of working with a fellow student of yours with Knight and John. So um, best wishes, and I look forward to visiting you again in Montreal very soon. Thank you. Well, well that one we keep on 24, because that's what yeah. we're going to break into our close shots with. So keep that on 24, and the other one we should do the same as your speed. You should do 48, so we can have a choice of okay. going down. This is a long way from Super 8 crystals, uh, as you may recall, Father Gervais. And it's a long, long way, in fact, in a much better way. And uh, I should also tell you, I just came back from uh, Italy, where I spent the summer shooting a, uh, a dramatic, romantic, wonderful, old-fashioned film set in World War II. And uh, many of the people on the crew had worked with Fellini and De Sica and Visconti and all your friends, and my friends too. And my office was across the street from Fellini's office at uh, Cinecittà. And uh, there's nothing I'd rather do than go back to Italy and make another movie. So thank you for Italy. Thank you for cinema. Congratulations. Bye.